Welcome back. After months of debate, the state of California is launching its most comprehensive study today to look at whether synthetic playing fields made of that crumb rubber are making athletes sick. It has been a story we've been investigating for months, and in today's 4x4, we're taking four minutes at 4 o'clock to take a deeper look at this next step to try to find out once and for all if crumb rubber is safe. Joining us now is State Senator Jerry Hill, who's really been pushing for more research on the impact of crumb rubber. Uh, Senator, thank you for coming in. First off, SB 47, what exactly is it? Where is it right now in Sacramento? Well, the bill was designed to conduct and require the state government to do a study, a comprehensive study. There has never been a study that really looked at the health risk of using crumb rubber in athletic uh, artificial turf fields. Studies have been done around the world. Uh, some of them have determined there's heavy le levels of lead. Others have said there's been toxic chemicals, but none of them, no, none of them conclusive. So we wanted the state to do that, and they started doing that, looking at the health risk re related to whether you ingest it when you're a soccer player. If you're a goalie, you hit the ground, that dust comes up, you're inhaling it, you're ingesting it, it gets into your cuts, and then you bring it home in your uniform and in your socks. And so you're living with it for a while. And there hasn't been a, a study that looks at what the effect that has on an individual. There have been studies that looked at the air quality of whether, when that gets hot and it emits the, uh, into the air, whether the volatile organic compounds are getting larger or greater, but nothing to look at the health risk. So there have been plenty of studies, plenty members, of studies. but not one like one that should be coming. The state recently got $2.58 million for a new study, and this one's going to be different than others. We have a slide to show that breaks down how this one will be different. Let's start with the ingesting of pellets. There's been one uh, study that shows when you inhale it, but what about if you actually swallow it and digest yes. it? No, that's very true, and that's what we really want to get at is when you ingest it, it gets into your system, uh, and, and, and there's a reason, because after lead, high concentrations of lead have been found in the crumb rubber as well. The Los Angeles Uni Unified School District, as well as the, the uh, uh, New York Park and Recreation, New York City Park and Recreation Department, both have banned it. They will not use artificial turf with crumb because of the high concentration of lead. So the new study will go into ingesting pellets, breathing chemical vapor, heat it. You're going to actually heat it to st simulate summertime, yes. right? And also rubber in cuts or scrapes if you actually get it in your skin. Absolutely, and if you look at the, uh, the U.S. women's soccer team, the, the world champion team, they were complaining after the, uh, the match that their shoes were so hot they were melting wow. because they were playing on the crumb rubber as well. So it's a serious issue that needs, needs to be addressed. Uh, we were recently out in Marin County at Tam High. Uh, they put a stop to the field out there. As part of your bill, you want all school districts to stop putting in these fields until this study is complete? Well, that's, that was yeah, my goal right. originally, was to have a moratorium until the study was complete. But the uh, industry spent $250,000 lobbying the bill, and I had to take that out initially before the bill would move because they were fighting so hard. They didn't want a moratorium. What we're going to do in January is reintroduce the bill. It's, it was stuck in the Appropriations Committee now reintroduce it to allow it to to then require school districts and cities if they're going to install artificial turf they have to get a second option they have to get a second opinion by a, a, a other than crumb rubber and there are other alternatives cork there uh, coconut uh, fiber uh, corn husk sand are all other options that are in the end and in the long run as cheap as artificial turf with crumb rubber so because we haven't seen such a comprehensive study are you convinced and, I, and I'll lean on this these numbers from the University of Washington women's soccer coach who came out and said yes. there were plenty of athletes there who wound up being diagnosed with cancer. Are you convinced that crumb rubber is connected to possibly cancer? Well, I'm not a scientist, so right. I, I think that there is there's strong evidence. When you look at the young people who are getting cancers, that the testicular cancer for boys at that age, and some of the other cancers, that the lymphomas that they're getting and developing at very young ages, and the connection is, the one connection, they've all been, in many cases, goalies, and they played soccer on crumb rubber artificial turf. For That's most the of connection. their life, right? Two, three yes. times a week. Exactly. Well, what about, Senator, all of the studies? There's one specifically in 2010 that said it did not pose a serious health risk for inhaling harmful materials that it did not study though the health risk of ingesting is that the difference well the, the, more the, in-depth the, studies there, and, and no one if you look at the, the federal government the EPA in fact they've now created more of a warning because they at one time said there was no risk 
Now they've backtracked on that and they're saying, well, we don't know yet, we need more studies. Because if you look at the studies that have been done, none have been as comprehensive as the one that California is going to do. How long will this study take? Well, In the meantime, we still have children playing on crumb rubber. Exactly. Fortunately, with all of our efforts, there's enough awareness that school districts and cities, when they look at options, will make a different choice, and they can. I think it's irresponsible to go forward with crumb rubber, with, with uh, artificial turf with crumb rubber today. I think with, the, with what we know about it and the concern and the fear of the study will be completed in 2018. 2018. Yeah. So if you were to tell a school district in the Bay Area who is having this debate right now, would you say just stick with grass for the time being or? No, I would suggest an artificial turf, but with one of the alternatives, the organic compounds or organic. That's actually what you yeah, brought in here, In fact, right? I brought some. Uh, this has uh, uh, cork as, as well as uh, uh, corn, uh, corn husk and uh, uh, coconut fiber. Hmm. Is, is the organic material. Now, they, people will say, and school districts will say, well, it's cheaper to use crumb rubber because we want to get rid of all those tires. But in, it, it is cheaper up front, but at the end, eight years, when you have to d dismantle those systems and dispose of that, it's considered hazardous waste, and you have to pay an extra fifty or sixty thousand dollars to get rid of it at that point. So the long term, the, the long term cost is neutral for both. So the alternative is there, and that's what we really are, want to promote: is that look at it and make that choice today until we find the study, and uh, and then move forward. Okay, Senator Jerry Hill will be following SB forty-seven. Uh, thank you for your time today. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, thank Senator. You.